Okay, so this is Neo Scavenger demo for PC, and I actually recorded this yesterday, but I didn't have my microphone on. So we're gonna play through it again, and I guess I can maybe do a more in-depth playthrough of the demo. So this game is quite old school, kind of like a bit like Fallout One and Fallout Two. But without, but you move through the world differently. So I'll show you what. It, let's have a look. Start a new game. This game is very based on survival and trying to survive. And you basically start by picking what skills and abilities you want. And in this game, I'm pretty sure once you die, that's it. You got to start again. And it tells you how long you survived for. So uh, strength is a good one to pick. I think. Let's pick strength. So you put it there. Um, pick medic. That's a good one, I'd say. Um, ranged, maybe. Let's put tough. Um, And we'll put ranged for later on. Right, confirm. So basically, here you can see the picture is where I am, and it's quite, it's a lot text based as well. So you wake up disorientated, slumped over the base of an empty cryo. Uh, just, I can't speak. Cryo sleep pod. Still damp from cryo fluid, the thick dust from the floor dings, clings to your skin. Leaving a clean spot on the ground where a large O5 is painted. Across the room, there is an open door to the hallway and a broken window leading outside. Just as you gather your wits, an unearthly scream erupts from down the hall beyond the doorway. Something is coming fast. So, these are my options for the encounter. I could either jump out the window, I can emergency dump another stasis tank or I can prepare to fight so what we're gonna do is you put it here and then you go confirm you steal your nerves and decide to take this thing down whatever it is as you assume a defensive stance it bursts into the room the beast stands on its hind legs like a man but has the appearance of a raggedy a ragged predatory dog as you can see the picture it looks right at you, shrieks and lunges. It connects with a force that jars you both, and Dogman actually has to step back to keep its balance. Taking advantage of his distraction, you knock him to the ground, grab his throat. His claws tear into your flesh as you crush his windpipe with every ounce of your strength you have. Moments later, he stops moving. You realise it costs you some nasty wounds, but at least you're alive. So, down in the bottom left, it says, My lower left arm was scratched and my upper chest was smacked so as you can see here I punched him I don't have any different weapons alright confirm with the rash of adrenaline fading you turn your attention back to this strange room you should probably finish up here in case there are more thing more of those things so let's search for emergency equipment And if I press Q, as you can see here, I picked up the first aid kit. I don't know where I put it. Uh, take. So I took it, first aid kit. And the dogman corpse is on the floor. And da -da -da -da. it's worth one. Its condition is 100% and its weight is 185 kilograms. This is a value of $34. Right, so you can see I'm in the hospital gown. Press Q to go back. Search the console for records. You check the console for any patient info and come across three records. Tank 1, Anton Blubber, committed, 2012-11-11. Emergency contact, Angela Blubber, 45, Campbell. Saint Detroit MI or M1 or MI 482110 billing info is the same. Tank 5 Philip Kindred no data no data billing info account 
Hashtag 2014-111-7 Detroit Savings Bank So as you can see there's lots of reading um, As you see on the, on the left I It's actually term based as well So you can see there I am well fed I am well hydrated I am well rested I am unburdened I am comfortable but I'm cold and I'm in pain right so we'll look tank 6 Lloyd blank check committed 2008 10 emergency contact mayor and mayor LLP 304 South Broadway Detroit M M I M one. I don't know if that's a one or an I. Four eight two two six. Right. So let's climb out the window. You decide to go outside and see if you can figure out where you are. Avoiding the broken glass, you step onto the seal and outside. Rusting some plants that have grown wild in the area. It's cool outside and damp. Probably morning. You're in the parking lot of a cryo facility, but everything looks disused and in despair. Plants have pushed their way through the pavement and over the facility. Worst of all, nothing looks familiar. You don't remember this place or even who you are. Your frustration mounts, but you catch it and put it in check. Might as well take a look around. So this is the map. And you move through the map. It's hexagon based. So I'm here. The cryo facility was just there. I believe it might be randomly generated every time, but I'm not too sure. Where you start is always the same, but because when I did the demo last night, when I wasn't recording my microphone, there was a town right where I was, so it looks like it's randomly generated every time. So let's move over here. Bandit. There's a bandit there. I don't want to go there. Um, I'm not very good at this game. The game is very like hardcore. It doesn't tell you anything. It doesn't tell you how to play the game or how to do anything. Uh, I yesterday when I did a demo yesterday, I died from hypothermia. I think oh, I froze to death. So yeah, so we need to look for like camp and make sure we're not cold. See, it says you're getting colder. Let's go this way. This way. This way. And now all my turns have ended. So we press end turn. It's end of my turn, we can keep going. And obviously when you end your turn I'm comfortable. So I'm not freezing anymore because it stopped raining. Ooh, we so basically I believe can we can we I don't know we can't do anything here oh, we end turn go to town as you approach the town there is no sign of activity buildings standing ruin vehicles are overturned and blackened with fire explosion marks radiate outward from walls and pavement in the distance strange looking creatures circle in the sky like monstrous Levery vultures. The world has drastically changed from what you knew. Some sort of cataclysm has befallen Earth, returning mankind to the Dark Ages, and along with it, your hopes of finding a warm meal and some answers. You decide to look around and scavenge what you can from the ruins. So as you can see, it's kind of Fallout-y in a way, sort of. Maybe with just without the bombs, <laughs> the nuclear bombs. Um, it's a pretty cool game, I'd say. If you liked, if you like older style of games, definitely give it a shot. I do quite like it, and I never play games like these. This is like the first time I've played a game like this, and I do quite like it. Let's let's scavenge. Look around, looking around you. There appear to be a few areas worth checking out, so we can check out a storage shed. Storage sheds are mixed bag. Osten ostensibly? What the hell is that word? <laughs> there should be some goods inside. But then again, anyone here 
before you would have known that and cleared it out, still it's worth a shot. So, I don't break. What's this do? What did, what did that do? Oh, aim it. So, if you go strong, you found something. I found something. All right. Um, Q. I found uh, a branch from a tree. So, how do I? Oh, take. Put it there. So now I've got that as a weapon, a stick. Dirty rags. A sleeping bag. Alright, take that. Where did I put that? Planet is in a campsite. Can I take? What am I doing here? Am I taking? Where did I put it? Oh. Oh, I can put it over the sleeping bag. I don't have a backpack, so I can't carry this, I don't think. I seem to have a bronze talisman. That's a bit weird. I have clean rags. I can't take the sleeping bag. I need to find a backpack. Oh, it says I'm using the sleeping bag, apparently. Alright. Mm. This is a bit confusing because they don't really tell you anything. You've got to learn it all for yourself. Let's go over here. End my turn. Oh, the bandit. Oh, oh, God, here we go. Bandit. So it says, he isn't in any cover. He is visible. His weapon is punch. I am, I'm in no cover. I am visible. But I have a medium sized branch from a tree. So I have loads of options here. I can offer surrender. I can drop all my items. I can desperate retreat. I can do a normal retreat. Fall back. Run. Take cover. Threaten. Demand surrender. Dodge. Advance. On charge. And obviously each different... Uh, move has different chances of things happening and it says I am range apparently I'm six six away from it terrain is difficult time of day is day he's barefoot I'm barefoot but I'm strong and tough how do we attack him so we're six away from him Hmm, I think we should advance. Oh, let's try demand surrender. He retreated. He retreated. Pan Bandit retreats from player. Alright, so he retreated. And he's here. Let's advance to him and see if we can see what he does. Demand surrender. He's, he's moved away again. So it looks like he won't surrender. I can't really do anything about that, though. There's another bandit behind me. Let's go into town. Let's go here. Where's my fatigue bar? Let's let's sleep. Items on the ground here. A corn. A corn a cola. Take. 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 There you go. Took some stuff. Right, end turn. End my turn. So we rest. So it looks like I'm resting. I think I'm resting. I can use, which does what? I can empty out the bottle. Scrap of paper. It reads... Analyzed water, one times water tester, one times water. So maybe I can make clean water. Tarp. I want to take it. Hmm. 
Hmm. So I rested. I just rested then. Um. So scavenge. Looking around you, there appear to be a few areas worth checking. Alright, an abandoned apartment building. The concrete apartment building looks to be in better shape than most. Sure, the windows are all but gone. A giant fissure runs along the wall, but this place looks as if it could still provide suitable shelter for someone. Perhaps that's what makes you feel so nervous about approaching it. Right. Let's... Oh, wait, you found something. A rifle shoulder strap? I can't take it. I don't have any... I can... What am I doing here? I'm, I don't even know what I'm doing very well. Shoes. 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 Oh, I found shoes. I have shoes. I am no longer barefoot. Yay. I have shoes. I have a hoodie. Yeah. Oh, it's... Let's take this one because this condition is better. Hide tunic? Ooh. A brown t-shirt. I put that on underneath it by the looks of it. Some pieces of old newspaper. Beacon in the night. In the wake of the mass evacuations of the Great Black Swamp, stories of families separated are all too common. Today, however, two sisters have reunited despite impossible odds. Cassandra and Veronica, sisters who lost contract during the forced evacuation of their hometown, are finally together again, thanks to their shared interest in astronomy and a nightly ritual of pointing out stars with flashlights. Cassandra and Veronica were able to spot each other's light beams from nearby refugee, refugees camps. As soon as we saw the flashlights in the care packages, we knew we had a chance. They beamed. Alright. That's cool. We take, we can take this, take that. All right, cool. Crafting menu, I have these. See, there's crafting obviously. All right. Where should we go now? Over here. Scavenge this. A destroyed office building. The office building is in ruins and it's likely much survived in, in its collapse. The creaking walls and ceiling are no boost to confidence either. Still, they, they may mean no one was brave enough or perhaps desperate enough to go in there. Um, as you can see here, it says how much loot's in there. Safety and sneak. So there's not much loot. Safety is pretty good and sneak is pretty good, but we're gonna leave because there's not much loot. Uh where should we go? Let's go this way. Apparently I have a pushing cart pushing cart, unable to run. I'm not hiding. Can we? As you can see here, I have a few scratches. I have minor bruising and minor pain, and I have minor cut and minor pain. Plastic bottle is a painkiller. Right, I'm able. I'm. I'm. A little, I'm. I can't speak. I am unable to run. There you go. I can. I can use words. There's another bandit there. Oh God. I got end my turn. There's two bandits. Oh my god. F two, three bandits. There's three of them. There's three bandits. They have a crowbar. And this guy has a hunting rifle. I'm running away. Retreat. Chance to leave the battlefield. Based on enemy numbers. Oh god. Desperate retreat. I'm going to desperate retreat. Desperate retreat. 
Run. I got out of there. Good. Let's just run. Let's get out of there. End turn. Oh god, it's going night time. It's going it's getting darker. Scavenge, looking around you, there appear to be a few areas worth checking out. Alright. Scavenge. You found something. Oh, my activity lightly alerted nearby enemies. No. Dun dun dun. I just got some crackers. Crackers, Gromit. A cigarette lighter. Alright. Hmm. Go over here. And turn scavenge. I can scavenge with a light source. All right. I'm. What does that do? That gives me more safety, but it gives me less sneak, and it gives me more chance of getting loot. All right. You activity likely alerted nearby creatures. Damn it. Take that. So as you can see, I can change between my punch and stick attack. It's better to probably use the stick. Um right. You've reached the edge of Neo Scavenge Demo. What happens next? What adventure awaits in the wasteland beyond? What other places are there to explore? To find out, consider supporting Neo Scavenger by purchasing it at Blue Bottle Games. Visit Blue Bottle Games. You can return to the demo. Right. You decided to keep playing the demo. Don't forget, lots of cool stuff awaits in the paid version. Save games. Oh, you can save the game. Alright, good. In a demo, once you die, that's it, you're dead, you have to start again. So in the main game, you can save. There are quests. You can go to Detroit Mega City. More items, weapons, recipes, and an in-game soundtrack. And this game is only £7. So I'd, I would urgently, um, urge you to try out the demo, because I think it's a pretty cool game. I definitely do like it. I might buy it, like, Christmas. You can't go that way. I might buy it Christmas. I might buy it on like the Steam sale. <laughs> I'll probably buy it Christmas when I've got some like spare money going around. Cause this game, oh, there's Bandit. He has a monkey wrench. I don't know, monkey wrench. I'd say the monkey wrench is probably better than the better than the weapon I've got. He's quite range is eleven. I have a pushing car on me. I don't know what that does. He has a pushing car on him. But he is unable to run as well. Obviously the pushing cart helps me able to, you know, I, I'm guessing because I have a pushing cart, I can put more stuff in my infantry. Because I can put stuff in the pushing cart. Um, um, what should we do? Desperate retreat. I got out of there, good. Let's go back. Oh, bandit. As night falls, you notice there is a bright glow coming from the east, easily visible through the tree chops. It's no guarantee, but it could be a sign of civilization. Maybe even a lead on where you are or who. And if nothing else, it's a good landmark to strike towards as any. Press minimap or the M key to see its location on the map. Oh, does it work? Am I pressing it? Where's the mini-map? Oh, confirm. M. It's over here. I'm here, and it's over here. That's quite a far distance away. I've got to go 
all the way down here. Can I even get there in the demo? Don't know. As you can see, all these squares are like extra hexagons. Go back to the map. It's dark. We can't see anything. Need to end my turn. Just sleep. Let's sleep. Go to sleep. Condition. You are defenseless when sleeping, so make sure you're in a safe spot. I'm not in a safe spot. Yeah. <laughs> But let's sleep. I'm sleeping. Wait, what? Oh god, what's going on? 